What's up guys, it's Lucas Gilbreth back here with another episode of Back on the Bump. Um, for those of you guys that have been following along, I appreciate it. We've made quite a big, bit of progress since the beginning. I know in the beginning we had just gotten the surgery. We were kind of talking through some of the things that were going on with the post-op, um, the range of motion, the post-surgery, um, getting the stitches out, all that fun stuff. So we've been going a while now and we're finally on to kind of the nitty gritty, getting into throwing, getting into more serious throwing and getting back to getting closer to playing every single day. So right now we are at 120 feet. We are out pretty far, I guess, for, for those of you guys that throw quite a bit. 120 feet isn't a lot in terms of long toss, but when you're recovering from an injury or coming back from surgery, it's a pretty significant distance. So um, I threw there on Sunday. Everything was nice and easy. No, no issues, no hiccups, fortunately, and uh, my arm feels great, I think. This is the first time in a long time that I haven't had any real soreness or pain in my arm. I think it was, it's a testament to getting the elbow repaired and finally having an elbow that is functioning properly. So I'm making a lot of throws. I think I mentioned it in one of the videos. It's a ton of volume, which is good because we're really trying to build the arm back up. But there's been a ton of volume and just getting the arm back in shape is always is always a treat, especially when you talk about taking almost a year and a half off of throwing. So we're getting back slowly. Um, the 60 throws at 120 feet was good. Um, some of the video stuff's pretty fun. Um, I've been working on some mechanical stuff. You see me really emphasizing the lower half and really trying to push through and get that to a position where I want it to be. You're just wasting time and you're wasting energy. So I've really been trying to focus on getting my lower half in a good position to use my hips and then finish with my upper half. So a lot of times with the upper half, everybody likes to think that the upper half um, is the sole thing that's gonna help us finish. But a lot of times the lower half is actually what keeps us from finishing with our upper half. So that momentum we create with our lower half, that triple extension, that hip rotation, the internal rotation at the hip, all that stuff is actually gonna help us transfer momentum up the chain. So a lot of these times when we can't finish, when we can't get over that front leg, it's usually due to the fact that we are not generating enough momentum into our upper half, or on the opposite end, we are getting into our arms so early. So fun fact about that, um, I, I talk about it quite a bit, and I, you notice I don't talk about the arm very much because to me the arm is a byproduct of everything else that we do physically, but when you watch the arm and the pitching motion, you really see how much the arm can either help or hurt the delivery, right? The arm gets all the credit, the arm's what we talk about, but if you watch right here, we really see how the arm can either relax and fly through or get super tense and have to be pulled across. When we're pulling across, you see the tension, you see how much the muscles are having to work. That actually makes the arm slower. I always say that tense muscles are slow muscles, but when we get super tense in that bicep and in that forearm, A, it slows us down because we're dragging kind of a heavy and stiff object through that quick speed, getting the arm going forward. But on top of that, it puts us at a risk for injury. When we talk about the elbow ligament in general, it's kind of... It's really not holding the elbow together, but it's kind of holding everything in place and kind of on that medial lateral side, keeping us from just exploding every time we throw the ball. So the more pressure we put on the front and the back of that, the forearm and the bicep, the more residual tension it's kind of leaving on the elbow. So when we're throwing and we're throwing over and over and over like we do as pitchers or as baseball players in general, that continued stress on the forearm and the bicep and that tightness actually ends up leading to more and more stress on the ligament. So getting into the ligament stuff, um, a lot of the throwing stuff that I'm doing is trying to prevent this from happening in the future, which is obviously the goal, but kind of getting the lower half in a position where it's easy to get the hips through, it's easy to get the upper half to finish, and then the arm's just gonna hang on for the ride. And, and that's always kind of been the goal. And I think I've been successful with that sometimes, and then other times things have kind of fallen apart. And like I talked about in my last video, a lot of times the injury that ends up taking you out of the game wasn't necessarily the cause like for me my elbows would end up taking me out for almost a or a little over a year and a half probably realistically and that wasn't really what started it what started it was my hip my oblique now all of a sudden the compensation patterns are what puts my elbow in a vulnerable position and i end up getting hurt so it all has to do with one another it's all related and, and that's the beauty and the downfall of the body is it, it's like a finely tuned machine if you start screwing little things up here and there um, you're going to fall apart and your body's not going to be able to 
stay healthy while still making those compensations a lot of times. But continuing on with my throwing stuff and um, the return to play, obviously, as you guys see, I'm out and about. I'm in Tampa with the team this week, so that's encouraging. And it's, it's always nice to be with the team because it does get boring at home sometimes. It, it gives me opportunity to do other stuff, but at the end of the day, my job is to play baseball. And I do miss the camaraderie and being able to hang out. So I'm happy to be on this trip. Um, I'm going to keep continuing to film some more like behind the scenes style content. So um, I'm trying to do a lot more on the YouTube side of getting maybe some stadium tours, some bullpen tours, um, even off day vlog type stuff. So we're getting there slowly but surely. But other than that, we're going to keep plugging away at throwing. I'll keep you guys updated. Hopefully we start getting some velos or some radar guns out there soon. So I can keep you guys updated on that progress. And, and we'll talk about how you evaluate effort level and a good way to test it. But for those of you guys that stuck around this long, I appreciate it. Please like and subscribe. I'm going to keep pushing out content. So I appreciate you guys that are always here. And uh, we'll catch you in the next one.